Hello Enid Elementary Schools, my name is Mrs. Salee and I'm from Prairie View and today I would like to talk to you about pitch. And for this experiment you will need various glasses that are the same size and shape, the exact same glasses. And you can use mason jars, um, you can use um, some heavy-duty plastic cups if you'd like, but glass is really the best for this op for this experiment. So if your parents will let you, um, and they can stick around to make sure that you don't break them, place the glasses in front of you and there needs to be no water in them. And then you'll need to have some water to the side and then also something to clink with. So something that you can gently tap on the outside of the glass. Now, as you may have learned this year, pitch um, greatly relies on how small or big your instrument is and what it's shaped like and its timbre. And so we are gonna change the shape of these instruments simply by pouring water inside of the cups. And so we're going to start, well, let's first start by listening to what these sound like without any water in them. Just a little, a slightly different in pitch, but pretty much the same. So now I'm gonna pour three different levels of water in each of these glasses. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in this one, and maybe halfway for this one, and then close to full for this cup. And you can pause the video if I'm going too fast. You need to get it all settled. Okay, so now we have three different levels of water in these glasses. And now I'm gonna clink our glasses and see what the pitch did. What changed about the pitch of these? What did you notice? Is this glass higher or lower than this glass? What do you think? Is this glass higher or lower than this glass? Is this glass higher or lower than this glass? What happens to the pitch when I add more water? Does it go higher or it does it go lower? I'll give you a secret. It goes lower. You can experiment with lots of different things and you can experiment with lots of things in your house like your tables and add things to your table and see what it sounds like when you add things to the things that you're making instruments with um, or if you take away. So as you know, the smaller the instrument, the higher the pitch. And the lower the or the bigger the instrument, the lower the pitch. 